Let's go, girls. We don't have time to film something because nope. we're going to playlist. I have a lot of homework. I literally quit my job. Oh, <laughs> because yeah. Because I don't have time for anything. You literally quit your job because you couldn't handle all the pressure. I couldn't. I didn't have enough time to That's do okay. it. That's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. So welcome to the mook thing. Welcome. Um, this is my first mukbang. Mook bang. I'm literally sweating. I might take off my sweatshirt. I can turn the air down more. It's at 65 right now in my it's apartment. Okay. Did we do you just take your whole we shirt do a off? topless mukbang. Hey guys, what's up? This is how we were brought in the world. I feel natural. So today we're eating tender greens. Tender greens? And we're eating salad. <laughs> <laughs> because we have to be skinny for playlists. Yeah, dude, I am failing with that. Last night I ordered I ordered a baked potato from Wendy's at 2 a.m. And Postmated it? Yeah. It was bad. It's a low. And Postmates, I know. I already ate my bread. I'm a little disappointed, but... Okay. There's your mashed potatoes. Oh my god, yes! I ordered vegetables to be skinny, but they gave me green beans and corn. Green beans are so dang. And since when is... Do you not like green beans? Wait, oh my god. That was, a, that was so hard to open. Isn't corn, there's like nothing nutritious about corn. There's like absolutely nothing. Really it's, like, my, it's like a pointless food. My two least favorite vegetables, corn. Do I, I get a fork? Yeah, no, it's a knife. Oh, in the bag. So this is my first mood bang. Mood bang. Excited. This is not gonna fill me up at all, but at least I got potatoes. We're skinny. Anything potato, I'm down. Also, I need to chug water. I'm super dehydrated. Can you count me down from like 15? Okay. <laughs> I'm not oh. a chugger, sweetheart. I gotta save some from the salt that's about to ensue. <laughs> beer bong for water so true so how was your day what's going on <laughs> um well i woke up to like a triggering email i got a comment on my jaw video okay someone said you're on like one million incel forums lmao what is so that? I googled incel forum and incel stands oh, for no. involuntary celibate so like me <laughs> like i'm not involuntary i'm just single af right. you know but like it's a bunch of like old hetero males for the most part like not a gay thing and i like started reading like websites talking about it like people who explored it like and saying how they're like dangerous because it's like really frustrated but what do they do they just talk about how like awful women are because it's like it's like men who can't Have like get like, any yeah, action yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh so it's gosh. like it's like a hatred and they they talk about and like how it's like justified because women just don't respect them. No shit. And they're shit. obsessed with plastic surgery. Like that's like all these insecure men just talk about like plastic surgery and like how they need to get this done to make a woman like them more. Oh my god. And I did not know that was a thing. It, it's so scary. And I'm trying to You're find. You're on a thousand of them. I'm trying to find like where this video is posted or like what is going on. And so it's just like grown men just commenting. Yeah, on and they're that talking video. about like how. It's funny and just like all this really gross stuff and like other websites that have like done things about it are just like Don't go to this website like it's really dark and they talk about murder I'm like why am I being like the spokesperson for this did you, website? Did you read the comments about you? No, I couldn't find them like look at the advertising ah! Just a naked girl? No, but this is what they said about one guy So one guy was posted like someone posted their YouTube video about like I guess image mm -hmm. and these are the comments to it Ungrateful card I wish I could steal his face and wear it. Ah! And then someone said it's over like for whoever that face. is. And then someone said, I want a face like that. Didn't even watch the video, but I feel like this boo-hoo. I get so much attention for women. No one cares about my personality. I never get me time. Wham! Like, that's like grown men. <laughs> like, roasting someone who's hot, but like posting... Just sitting in their computer yeah. room in the dark with <laughs> a headset. Just like super And I try to find like where I'm posted on this website and like I don't... Oh. Like the fact that my face is on this website somewhere for my surgery video and people are either probably... Like jacking off to it? No, people are probably like, oh my god, I need to get this surgery so that woman will like me. Or Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I don't like that I'm being like the spokesperson for- I mean, you are beautiful. Like, involuntary celibate. You do have like a beautiful face. So I get where you could be someone's like inspo. Uh, the website's just derogatory and crude. Here are the thread just titles. Just a bunch of like naked women. 
That's how I feel. Right. When will this torment end? Rape is kind of funny when you break it down. Oh my god, what the hell? Is this on like the dark web? I don't like, know. Was, you know the that's dark why, web Yeah, is, that's right? why I was scared when I went to it. Yeah. Or they're calling me an involuntary celibate for me ever always talking about how single I am. <laughs> like, he's one of us. Oh my god, that is wild. Ew, but like, I don't even want to like, is this going to be sent to them? Like, me shirtless talking. Oh yeah, this is probably not a good idea. <laughs> Should we put our shirts back on? I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> now that you're on this website, people talk about you. That's weird. I go back to the website and like, I'm <laughs> just like. The you're like, new video, guys. <laughs> Check it out. He's topless now. I go to the website. I'm literally, what's the word? There's the, like a banner. The logo. <laughs> yeah, there's like a logo. A banner. Involuntary celibates. This is me like. There's like music in the background. It's like. <laughs> I'll give them a. It's like a MySpace page. I'll thumbnail them right now. <laughs> people made their own. Yeah. Cut me out. I no, want to go to the website. <laughs> just you click it. It's like. No, cut me out. Involuntary celibates. Yeah, single forever. But we're just like talking about really heavy shit. We didn't even start like by like, how was your day? Why well, I went to the gym. Like we're like, yeah, so human sex well, yeah, trafficking I, I, I woke is up, very prevalent I woke up and I was triggered. No, for sure. That's how my morning was. No, but you were talking about like the new way that people are trying to like lure sex trafficking. Oh yeah, on Twitter. Which I think is a very important thing to discuss so you guys can be aware That is what's something I'm on. very passionate about. Yeah, me too. One of my favorite movies is Taken because mm -hmm. I love scary shit. Mm -hmm. Love it. Have you seen The Call? with Halle Berry. Love. Ugh, such a good movie. Cause like, I love scary movies, but they have to be like, things that could actually happen mm -hmm. to make it really scary. You know that girl in the call, Abigail Breslin? Yeah. She lives in this building. I know, I saw her at <laughs> Rite Aid before, and she was like, oh my god, your dog, can I pet it? And she was like, wasted. She was at Rite Aid, just <laughs> trash. down the street. Yeah, trash, smelled like cigarettes. <laughs> And oh yeah, she's always smoking cigs outside the building. Yeah, and I was like talking. I was like, that's Abigail Breslin, and like I think she was catching on, and then I don't know, it's kind of awkward. No, but. I always see her like in the elevator and shit, but I never say anything. We should be friends with her. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ashlyn was having a pool party when she still lived here. She had one with like Christine and um, Elijah and like Chris, I think, mm -hmm. and they were all down by the pool. I wasn't here, but they were saying. Like, oh my god, invite Abigail Breslin, like, invite her, because Ashlyn was saying that she lived here. And I guess, like, oh, because she, like, walked by outside, and they were like, holy shit, is that Abigail? So they invited her to the pool party, and they were like, yeah, it was super fucking awkward. <laughs> like, she didn't really talk to us. Like, she was just kind of there for the food. And then I love how she was like, I'll come. <laughs> I know. I would have been like, no thanks. Like, I don't know you people. <laughs> if you're watching this girl, sorry, maybe you're just misunderstood and shy. Shouldn't have judged you like that. But anyway, so talk about like the new... Oh yeah, so every time I'm on Twitter, I have just see warnings for girls about human trafficking. Like where my cousins live, like it's really big. Where do your cousins live? Like in Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, totally. And there's like a place that's kind of like the Americana, like an outside mall. Um, and there's a lot of people luring you in with like religion. Mm hmm They say like, God the woman or something. Like a, it's always like a woman coming up to the people and they're like, talking about God the female or mm -hmm. something, and if you hear that word, then just get the hell away, because they're trying to kidnap they lure you. They you in, yeah, literally. Hey guys, just know that. Don't ever talk to anybody that tells you that like God is a female, unless it's Ariana Grande. Remember I was talking about that serial killer? At the town meeting, there was like one guy who goes, well, the only people being murdered are the people who don't have men in the house, and then the next day he's murdered. Oh yeah. <laughs> they leave stuff, like little hints. Just to distract you. So like, you'll go to the bathroom, if you go to the bathroom alone, which is insane, like someone's in there and then stabs that thing in your throat. Just so in like, a public place? To euthanize you. Or like, I know that like one of the big ones I always see on Twitter is like the cardboard on your car. What? Yeah, like if you're like in a mall, and I work at a mall, I don't anymore because I quit, but every time I walk to my car at night, I'm like so scared and like- Like any someone, parking like, garage yeah. freaks me out. I'm having always like looking around you. me, always in a parking garage. But. So scary, and I'm like a female too, so it's always just like, gotta keep your guard. But they'll up. put like cardboard on your windshield or like somewhere on the back so uh. that it kind of blocks it, so then you like you notice it when you're in the car and then you get out and then that's when they grab you. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Dude, that's so sketchy. I was in Portland by myself because I was visiting my friend Natalie and I got there like 9, 10 p.m. and I was just like early. So I was like, oh, I've got some time to kill. I'm gonna go to the mall. But I went to this mall that was like the number one, two, or three most, or place where people, Ew. the most human trafficked area, like in the United States. I didn't know that at the time. I was just like young, naive. I was like 18, I think. 
<laughs> That's not even like that. <laughs> last year. Yeah, like last year. Oh, it was the Lloyd Center. Guys, be safe. If you're going to the Lloyd Center, go with a friend or like a parent. And don't go at night by yourself. So I go to the Lloyd Center, not thinking it's sketchy at all. And I walk into the Lloyd Center and there's like literally a police officer standing next to every store. And it was like closing, so there was not a lot of people there. And they usually abduct the people or and like the children when there's no one there so like closing or like opening time and i walk in by myself and i'm looking and all of the police officers are just glued to me just staring at me because like a lot of people like get tricked into meeting um the person there so they were just making sure that like i didn't get tricked into meeting the like a tinder set. date Either that or just like, you know, just being tricked somehow. So I walked into Sephora, there's no one in Sephora and I'm so sketched out cause like you could hear a pin drop. I buy my mascara and I'm walking out and then a police officer follows me outside, just like following me and just like waiting outside until I get in my car, get in my car and then right when I get in, he walks back inside and I'm like, okay. And I called my sister and I told her about it and she was like, you were at the Lloyd Center alone at 10 p.m. That's like the number one sex traffic place. Ew. Like, She was like, do you see all of those semi trucks in the parking lot? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, some of those, they just like wait for girls and just like people to just walk out into the parking lot by themselves and abduct them. On a lighter note, the salad's dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. But yeah, someone was kidnapped by their Uber, but they jumped out. Saw that on Twitter. Anyways, we should but try- like where? Um, Florida, which is the, like the other biggest state for trafficking. I love how this is what we talk about. People probably think that we have like fun conversations all the time, but we always just talk about dark stuff. I know. But Murder. Just, like, I um, will tell you about something pure though that happened. Yes. <laughs> I was at the Rite Aid. Yeah. The one that Abigail Breslin was blacked out Love at. her. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine her just being blacked out at Rite Aid. Um, that's so funny. Just smelling like cigs. So I park my car and I'm about to go into Rite Aid and as I'm walking into Rite Aid there's like this sweet homeless man next to the door and he was like he was holding this bottle of Windex and it didn't even have oh, yeah. like it didn't even have like the spray thing it was just a bottle of no cap and like a roll of what um toilet paper no I mean paper towels paper towels and he was so damn sweet he comes up to me he was like hello ma'am he was like older he was like I can clean your windows for some spare change. And I was like, oh my God, you know what? Yeah. I gave him three bucks. And like, I just thought that was so sweet. Like he didn't just ask for money. He wanted to do like an exchange thing. A you service. Know? He wanted to do a service for me. And although it was an awful job, like there were streaks all over my windows when I came out, I'm like, you, you know what, man? Someone. You really, you really took the time out of your day to actually work for it. Like that was so like nice. He probably just found that bottle of Windex just somewhere on the street. What can we talk about that's not so dark? People at my school that wore tails. <laughs> 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 I have this like bundle of extensions that are in my room. So gross. It looks like a horse tail. <laughs> well, because it was braided. Yeah. I'm trying to get it all crimpy. I held it up to my buttocks and it looks like a tail. And so when I saw him doing that, he was like, should I just wear a tail for a video? And I was like, oh my God, you're just like the people from my high school. And he was like, what? What are you talking about? And I was like, I'll save it for the vid. I'm really like flabbergasted that you didn't have kids like this at your school. In high school or like- Yeah, like, dude. People wore, who wears Listen, tails? Like imagine just like walking to class and you just see an emo couple walking to class too, but they're role playing as animals. Ew. So they both have tails and the girl has little whiskers and she's on her like on her knees and her arms like walking like a cat and she's like going up to her boyfriend and like going like this to his leg. Ew. What? And she's like meow meow and then the boyfriend's like come on Jenny and it's like like has like sometimes they have leashes but usually it's just like an imaginary leash and they walk their girlfriends to class. That happened all the time. Like, it was just like a casual day, walking to class at my school. Um, I did not have those people, and yeah. I don't know if this is wrong for me to say, but I'm gonna say it. I hope they were bullied. Oh my god. <laughs> I no, was bullied, sucked. so I can say, I hope they were bullied. No, dude, it sucked 
It's like you you, they weren't bullied. That's so unfair to me. Well, you try to <laughs> like, bully them, but they're really not. Nice. I was just bullied for being myself in middle right. school. But like, these people are trying to be cats, and they're just like, everyone's like, hell yeah. No, dude, they're just minding their business. Like, but not, no one cares. Everyone's like, oh, it's the cats. No, well, no, everyone was just so used to it. Like, no one really like. What? I mean, obviously, you're gonna probably like some people probably judge them at first, but when you see it every day, you're like, oh, there's the emo cats. <laughs> Bullying gives you character. It's what? True. Bullying someone gives you character? No, being bullied. I mean, it gives you thick That's skin. what I was told as a child. <laughs> <laughs> because you got bullied so much. When I would cry to my parents in middle sleep. school. <laughs> it just builds a thick skin. I promise it'll be. It does. One That's day. why I don't have emotions now. I'm just like, you're it's just okay. I'm not hurt. You're just numb to everything. Um. That's really. But kind of true. Like if you think about it, the only people that are like funny have had some kind of torment. Do you think I'm funny? Yeah. Have you had no torment though? I was always the- Not torment, but like some kind of trauma. I was always like the popular bitch that was low-key bullying people. I love that. But I wasn't, like it wasn't, I, okay, it was kind of like a mean girl situation and I was like Gretchen. Like I was never like Regina George, like being the one proactively I wanted bullying. to be Regina George so bad. I was just I kind was of that friend. One. I was that friend in the background that knew it was wrong, but I still like hung out with them because they were cool. But that was only like middle school. Then I grew out of that. But it was me on Club Penguin as Regina George. Yeah, that's true. You were the Regina George of Club Penguin. Do you know Regina's wig was a wig? Sorry. I didn't know that, but Segway. now that I think about it, it, it was makes a wig. Sense. My hair looks so bad. Wig. I need a wig. But no, it was a wig. I mean, it makes sense. It got a bad review. It. Why? I don't know, like, what makes a bad wig, but there's, like, a website that reviews wigs and movies. And, I think like, it looked good. I just think it's, well, it makes sense, because, like, what was that other movie with Ryan Gosling when she had brown short hair at the same time? What? It's, like, the it's most iconic, the notebook, the notebook, the yeah. notebook, the notebook. That was, that was going on at the same time. Kind of, it was, like, either a year after, or... But that one could have been a wig. You never know. Was hey, Regina, real? if you want to come on my podcast, let me know. Love that. What's your name? Oh. I was stalking someone who like liked my photo yesterday, and their bio was, "This is how you party at Mykonos, bitch." <laughs> Honey, this is how you throw a party at Mykonos, bitch. And the fact that the song in the background was like, "You will be we will be <laughs> the neighbors." It was like Zane. This is how you party at Mykonos, bitch. Just like whipping her hair. I need to make that my bio, or I need to make my bio just once Chris Jenner is my manager, it's ever for you. I think you should make merch that says. I know. This is how you party in Mykonos, bitch. I have that, the Chris Jenner one. I have so many things. I want to take the photo of Harry's Gucci ad, put that on a shirt, and then just say. A photo of that? With him holding the pig. Did you not see what I posted on my story? Honey. And say, Kylie to the foyer, I have a little surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny, actually. I have so many merch ideas that like have nothing to do with me. I just want to release like. Funny clothes that I know start your own clothing that I literally line. know people would buy. I don't know if I like this vinaigrette, but it's, I'm still gonna eat Ugh, it. I don't know what I just ate. It wasn't good. Finish it off. Is that a pepper scene? Ew, I hate these. Ugh. I don't know why everyone of my friends like. Wait. Oh. Yeah, not good. I think it's zucchini, but just like not good zucchini. I usually like zucchini. First of all, have you seen the movie Eighth Grade by Bo Burnham? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> So there's this one part in the movie, and she goes on YouTube, and she types in how to give a blowjob. Like it shows the search results that come up, like if you actually type it on YouTube, like it shows the YouTubers. And I've definitely watched three of those from like when I was in high school. Like I totally forgot that I would do that. Like I would come home from school, and I was home alone, and I would go on YouTube and type in like how to give a blowjob. Like, I used to watch the how to ones. lap dance. Yeah, like how to make out, like how to use tongue. Like, they don't teach you anything. No. Because like, how do you teach someone kissing? No, I don't know. And I would like sit there and like write notes and just like <laughs> study. I would like zoom in on their face and try to like analyze what their tongues are doing. I don't know, man. They're like, they always use like a cupcake. They're like, yeah. <laughs> suck off the frosting. The ones where they actually have someone in it with them and they're just like, yeah. <laughs> just like, Alex doesn't know what's happening. Uh, I just like need someone hot to approach me, you know? It's just like there's no one hot around me. Right. All the hot ones are like taken or they've been recycled through LA. <laughs> it's Gross. true. It's but so I mean, true. it's true. Like everyone hot, you're like, oh, you've been with this guy and this guy and this guy. Yeah, as much as I joke about being single, there's literally just no one. 
Which sounds crazy because we're in LA, but there really is not many Maybe. gays to choose from. At least, like, from to my knowledge. Like, when we, like, hang out, like, we're never around gay people. Unless we're at the gay clubs. And, like, even then, they're, like, not that cute. I'll never forget, like, the Abbey, I think. <laughs> oh my god, that was the worst. Walking in for the first time, there's just, like, acrobats just, like, hanging from the ceiling. I just walk in and I just look up, there's, like, a ball sack in my <laughs> face. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, dodge all these ball sacks. <laughs> I love that shit. It was really fun. My mashers are cold. <laughs> all our food was cold. Yeah, I'm just, like, not good anymore. Oh, did you get to rate it? It was, like, a... I'll give it, like... I feel like I'm always disappointed. You have to rate it? I am. Okay. I think I'm always disappointed by true food. Wait, what is it called? Tender greens? True food? You never been there? So fucking good. No. I'm always lifted up by true food. So you were high? No. But I would be fine. Lifted up? Like, gum. Oh, okay. But I don't know. I feel like tender greens always sounds like a good idea. And then when you're done, it's just like, um. That's how I feel about lemonade. No, oh, gross. I no, I hate lemonade. We've been there a few times. I hate cafeteria style. I give it a 6.5. 7. That's a D. Okay, I wouldn't say a D. Maybe like a 7. A C. I'd say like a solid C, not C+. Plus, Could do better. Plus. Yeah. Make sure to give this a like. Um, Follow me, follow us. And if you're coming this weekend, we'll see you then. Hi, my merch. I hope you enjoyed this TED Talk. You can use it in class for educational purposes. Subscribe. And they're really nice. And I love you. <laughs> and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.